Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. This is Nell and this is the third part of the KineMaster tutorial. In the previous sections, I've talked about how to import videos and photos in the application. I've also explained each and every section of the setting window. So if you haven't watched those two previous sections, click on the link above and watch them. Without further ado, let's begin. Layers is divided into five sections as you see. It means you can add layers into your project in forms of media, effect, text, sticker, or handwriting. Media. Here you can open photos, videos in your project. I'm gonna add a photo and do some changes on it. For example, the favorite folder and I add this photo. By my fingers, I can move it, pinch in or pinch out to make it bigger or smaller. Okay, let me put it here. Or if I want to add a video, I go to layer, media. This time I go to video section and add my video. And again, by my fingers, I can resize it move it and i can set the timing like this let me put it here all right the second part's effect as you see i have hundreds of effects here you may not have many effects if you have just downloaded KineMaster. So easily you can go to the KineMaster Asset Store and download the effects you need. Pay attention, if you are not a premium user, you don't have some of these effects. For example, I go to Blur and uh, I go for this one. I can download it. Now it is installed, close the window, close the window again, and there you go. This is motion blur, the effect that I have just downloaded. As you see, it is added to my effect list and I can use it. So click on it. Okay, I move it and put it here. And click on the check mark button. Uh, by the way guys, every effect has a settings window where you can set some items like this. For example, this one has strings or angle. I can change them. You see, also I can change the angle. Or maybe I want to change the opacity like this. All right, enough with the effect section. Let's move on to the third section, which is text. It is clear that in this part, you can add text to your videos. So uh, let me write. Okay, you type your words and click on the check mark button. Again, I can move it by my hands. I put it here. And guys, uh, while your text is selected, Again, you have all the settings here, like fonts, color, animations, opacity, outline, and other items. And if you want to delete the text, you can select it and click on the trash can on the left side. Okay, now let me click on undo. And guys, you should do the same for any other layers or videos if you want to remove them. So simply select them and click on the trash button on your left hand side. Now let's do some changes on my text together. Select it. First, I can pick a color for it. So I click on color. As you see in this window, you have a standard palette with more than 50 colors. If you are looking for a color in specific uh, that uh, you don't have it here, you can go to the next tab 
and by dragging these two sliders find your color okay and again click on the check mark there's also another way that you can pick your own color this time go to the fair tab and define the color by three parameters of rgb this one is r red i mean the other one green g for green and the third one b for blue and the important point uh, for each color you pick is that uh, you can see the parameters of rgb in the bottom right hand corner of this window okay i love this purple color so that's good uh, let me make it a little bit bigger to be able to see it better now let's move on to the font part as you see i have a long list of fonts here that i have downloaded them before from the knemaster asset store i can pick whatever i want for example coin irregular yeah this is one of my favorite fonts and uh, again i should say that uh, if you want to download more fonts, you can go here, go to the KineMaster Asset Store and download the fonts you want. Okay, now we can set how our text is going to enter the clip. So let's go to In Animation. I pick Pop. And then... I choose the duration, I put it on 0 0.5, perfect, see, it pops in. Then I choose how it's gonna be overall, for instance, blink slow, okay, good. And at the end, I can choose out animation, which means how my text gonna exit the clip let's put it on slide right and set the duration the timing on 0 0.4 let me change it to okay let's see it together here my text pops in the overall and at the end it slides right all right guys as you see, there are other options. I can blend it in different forms or um, here I can change the opacity like this. Add a stroke to my text. Let me change the color, white. Change the weight, okay. Or I can add shadow, glow, background, as you see.